So we are back with another WWE 2K22 hidden features and things you might not know. We're talking alternate models that are set to come. What more updates we could be getting. Attires you guys need to get your hands on right now. And of course, more hidden things you might not know. Make sure to turn on those notifications. And as always, uh, let's try to smash those 1,000 plus likes. And let's get right into it. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I did with RVD was beat up John Cena. And also, of course, download some awesome attires for him. Before we get to those attire though back to beating up john cena i was excited to find out that the van daminator is back in the game is back in the wwe game series this one is usually in the game if rvd is in the game so now he's in the game so we get it back but this time it's a bit different as it is unique to rvd you cannot assign it to anybody else if you're doing any type of no dq matchup and there's a chair around pick it up walk up to the opponent and if you do a heavy attack rvd will do the van daminator that is x on playstation and a on xbox i'm not too thrilled that we cannot assign it to anybody else and although the animation for it is awesome it does feel a little bit slow before i give you guys the hashtag for those attires let's make it up a little bit there was a massive botch on the marketing of the last dlc as the pop-up messaging game basically ended up revealing that we were supposed to be getting selena vega queen selena in this last pack for the game but she ended up getting replaced by saray the reason for it is unknown selena vega did get released by wwe and then she was brought back so that probably caused some issues but this does brings up the question if maybe we will be getting queen selena as a free update later on we will all obviously love for that to be the case getting the nxt arena for free was awesome and besides fixes it was really the only big thing that was added on the new updates that was for free for everyone it's also worth mentioning that for my faction of course uh, you get a car for every single dlc but there is also a my faction manager car for boa who as we learned early on was removed from the game asaya leave was moved to smackdown but he wasn't so he was no longer managing her now it's worth mentioning that he is only a manager card there is no model or anything like that to represent him which means that we shouldn't expect anything like that to be uploaded to community creation something that we could expect is more alternate coming to my faction previously we discussed a more cleaned up version of Rhea Ripley and a really good alternate model for Raquel these two you guys are able to download from community creation from what's the status and now iWorld's finest ended up revealing that there is a future Tommaso Ciampa and P. Don model coming to my faction. These have not been uploaded to community creation just yet. I'll keep you guys posted on it. Regardless though, this is a good indication that hopefully we are getting more updates for the game. Even if it might be for my faction, which means that we're gonna have to get those alternate through community creation. Now, of course, with brand new DLC means that, that we are going to be getting special commentary lines. There's a good amount of them for RVD when he faces off against our former opponents like Jeff Hardy and even John Cena. For John Cena, there's a couple of them, even one that if you restart the match, the commentary alludes to the fact that John Cena wanted the rematch. There's also a special commentary line in the victory scene when RVD beats him. Van Dam says Cena's label as the franchise is because someone decided to make him that, not because it was earned through blood, sweat, and tears. RVD referencing his time surviving the wars of the underground Wire City ECW. And that Cena was given the best of everything, carefully placed on a pedestal for everyone to admire. Van Dam wanted a shot at Cena, and now's his chance. It's one thing to make it to the top of sports entertainment, it's another to be able to stay there. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam! RVD defeats John Cena in an incredible contest. Van Dam's will to win to defeat John Cena was just amazing. John Cena laid out this challenge to RVD because he wants to see what Van Dam has on his own. No outside interference, no originals from the past popping up, swinging. Who knows what happened? Cena's right. I'm not taking anything away from Van Dam, but at some point, a competitor has to be able to prove they can do it one on one, no outside interference. It's Cena versus RVD. A total clash of styles, and I'm all fired up. This one's going to be off the chain.
In regards to Logan Paul, they actually added a couple of new moves that, that were intended to be just for him, but they are not assigned to him, which means that you won't be able to see these moves at all in the game unless you set it up. So go ahead and go to move sets. First off, there is a heavy attack for the corner, which is a corner body shot. And then there is a top run stun move, which is the top rope Oklahoma stampede. Definitely assign it to Logan Paul. It just suits him better. Or of course, assign these moves to whoever else you want to. And we are back to RVD. As I said to you guys, one of the first thing I did was download some community creation attires for him because there is a lot of awesome creators in this community and it is insane how quick they are with it. There is already a lot of them, but I got my hands on these made by WWE Added for Life. They have two RVD pack. Each of them were four different classic attires for RVD. So if you download both packs, you are getting eight of them or you could just download whichever pack it is that you want to the most. They ended up making these attires with the help of Gameboat1. Use the hashtag WWE added for live and you will be able to find it right away. Let me know which one is your favorite. I'm always a big fan of the red. That is what I got for you guys on this WWE 2K22. Hidden features and things you might not know. Another big episode coming up so stay tuned for that. Check out more of my 2K22 content. Like the previous video in which we put Logan Paul in the WWE title division for one full year. And things did got a little bit crazy see you guys there so stay savage